Today's rich kid going skint is a property development student and son of the CEO of a high-end furniture company. My name is Freddie, I'm 20 years old and I'm from Chelsea. Freddie likes to eat out and doesn't have to worry about the cost of restaurants in Chelsea. There you go. Thank you very much. Maybe £200 for two courses and a bottle of wine, which is actually considered quite a normal price around the area I am. As well as having a posh palette for pricey food, Freddie also likes to shop for fancy threads. This is my morning coat that I wear for Royal Ascot. It's in June every year. And of course, this outfit would simply not be complete without my uh, top hat. And this is the top hat. And Freddie gets fitted for these only at the finest places. It does feel good wearing a new morning dress. Absolutely lovely. Freddie's family not only have a four bedroom London townhouse, they also own a villa in Ibiza. Freddie attended the exclusive Milton Abbey School, which cost the bank of mum and dad just under £200,000. We had a school shoot, a school farm, a sailing academy and a nine-hole golf course. And with an education like that, Freddie expects to earn the big bucks one day. A couple of hundred thousand pounds a year is probably what you would need to sustain that type of lifestyle. Like a lot of students, before uni, Freddie took a gap year. I actually did have a budget. I spent five grand in about six weeks. Not your average student budget. I do invest a lot of money, I guess, in adventure. And his next adventure is to experience life with virtually no disposable income. I think one of the things that I am dying to know is why do certain families, why are they living in accommodation that's simply too small for them? When rich kids go skins. Hello. Hello. Nice to Freddie, meet you. Freddie, nice, nice to meet Freddie. you. I'm Charmaine. Nice to meet you. Come in. Welcome, welcome. Such a lovely house. So nice and cosy. Is that Freddie's polite way of saying small? This is the bathroom. What's your bathroom like? So I have an ensuite bathroom. Of course. Have you always had an ensuite? Have you ever had to share? No, we've never, never had to share. How many bathrooms do you have in the house? We have five bathrooms and then one loo downstairs. OK. Wow. Yes. So they've got five bathrooms. That's, that's like more rooms than I've got in this whole house. He's just got on bathrooms. It's amazing. Hopefully he'll come and invite me round. Time for Freddy to sweeten his arrival. I bought you a bottle of wine. Oh, my favourite as some well. Some red right? wine. Mm -hmm. Got you some mango Ooh, as well. Thank you. Oh, he was really sweet. I, I, I didn't get the mangoes and stuff, but it's like, have you ever tried a mango? <laughs> it's like, yeah, darling. <laughs> but they were really sweet. What else is he going to pull out? Uh, some chocolates. Nice. Oh, you're so sweet. And I've also like you've known me so well already. got some sweets and things for oh, the. Oh, that's so cute. So, how are you feeling about having me this weekend? Yeah, I'm really excited. I get to show you how we find the fun in life with a minimal budget. That is good. Hashtag winning! He seems really sweet. He seems a bit introvert. My aim is just to get him to just chill out, just let his guard down a little bit. And she has just the thing in her kitchen to help with that. This pole. I haven't really noticed it when I walked in. This is how I let loose. Twerkology 101. Get him a little bit wavy and just see that you can have fun on five pounds just as much as you can have on 500. We'll do a little spin and then come down. Ha ha! <laughs> wow. <laughs> called Finding the Hoe in the Housewife. <laughs> <laughs> He's not actually going to have a go, is he? Hey. So, foot that way, knee to the pole. Like that. Knee on the other side. Like that. That's it. Pull up. And then cross. pull up. And Wee. then, woo! Nice! Ah. I'm not really good at moving around that, so <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think I think I'll have to let Charmaine the, do the show, really. <laughs> we'll have you twerking in no time. <laughs> the fun continues as Freddie plays with four-year-old Sean and two-year-old Shayla. 
So he likes things that spin around. That spin, yeah. I mean, that is that is pretty cool. You're building these all at four years old. I know. Do you want to be a scientist? Yeah. Or an engineer? Or an engineer, yeah. You're going to make me some millions? Yeah. Hmm? Then we're going to go and live in Chelsea next to Freddie? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Until then, Charmaine's content with her cosy home. But it means no spare room for Freddie. This is going to be your boudoir for the oh, evening. Oh, lovely. Don't worry, it does pull out. To be honest, Charmaine's house is a lot nicer than I thought I was going to be living in. It is a lot smaller than mine, but you know, it is it is a nice, cosy house and I'm not going to be worried about staying there at all. I was expecting maybe someone a bit more snooty, um, someone who maybe would look down on the, the whole place a bit more, but he seems really sweet. This bit that's not fixing on. He does sound posh, but I could sound posh as well. It's like, you just got to enunciate, darling. <laughs> when rich kids go skins. Keen to show Charmaine he can cook an exciting meal. So we're going to have sausages, chips and baked beans. Freddie takes over in the kitchen. I'm a bit nervous because uh, I don't really know how to use the oven, so I'm just going to have to guess and try and work it out. How do I use this oven? <laughs> yeah, so I need like a, one of those black, I don't know what you call them, but I just know which cupboard it is in my house. A baking tray? I want to do this myself. Oh, I hate this cooking out here. Like, it's just not clear, like, with the one at home, you just get it, you go, boop. I do. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 this is working. <laughs> I can hear it, I can hear it. The bubbling beans mean lunch is ready. It's the moment of truth. Hey, you're going to have some Look, lunch. Shayla, you've got some food, and Sean, there's mm. your one. Do you like it, Sean? Yeah. Result? Is Freddy a good cook? Yeah. Oh, that's good. And he gets five stars. As they all took in, Freddie has a special gift for budding engineer, Sean. So, Sean, I got this aeroplane when I was your age. Yeah. And it's high in sentimental value. So cute, isn't it? Yeah. So, I wanted to give you this to remind you of my time staying with you at your house. Thank you. You're welcome. Freddie's gift provokes more questions from Charmaine. Freddie, how many planes have you been on? Um, to be honest, I can't, I can't count. I've gone on quite a lot. How much do you reckon your family spends on holidays each year? Adding it all up, maybe probably £20,000. Where is the best place you've been to? Uh, to Mozambique. I stayed on one of my really good friend's private island. The reality of how different their worlds are... It's nice. ..becomes even more apparent. When the sun's out, I'm on holiday. Basically. Um. Go and sunbathe, get the tunes on. Nice. Literally, when the sun is out... That's your I'm holiday. On holiday. Yeah. And with that mentality, Charmaine wants to show Freddie that she can also enjoy a good dance without going to an expensive club. Freddie! Yup? Come here a sec. How much is this going to cost me? Just your dignity. OK, right. So you normally spend about two, three hundred pounds on a night out. Right, yeah. You're going to play dress up and have some fun right here. <laughs> Put oh, it on. no, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Put it on. <laughs> like, what? what? It's a far cry from Chelsea and Ibiza. Get ready, it's your birthday. But Freddie looks like he's really enjoying himself with Charmaine. Woo! And that is how you have fun with no budget. High five to no High budget. High five, my G. 